And, and what are you reading currently? What am I reading currently? So here's a book by a couple of friends of mine, uh, Richard Fenton and Andrea Waltz, wrote, who wrote When They Say No. And it's about uh, being able to reframe rejection. Uh, and they wrote uh, they wrote a great parable years ago, soon after The Go-Giver came out, uh, called Go For No. It was a business parable. Um, and the, the subtitle was Yes is the Destination, No is How You Get There. And again, it was just reframing no and how to use that and or how to use the no's that you get in order for it to propel uh, your career. Uh, let's see. I just got uh, Tom Peters' latest book called Tom Peter. Oh, called um, Tom Peters Compact Guide to Excellence, which is really great. I just read a book, just finished a book yesterday. Uh, I'm trying to look to see where it is, and I'm not seeing it. Uh, quite a collection there. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, I always say, you know, my my home is comprised of books with some scattered furniture. So, <laughs> I like, I like, I that. like that. that. I like that. <laughs> Any uh, fiction books? So uh, there are some fiction books I enjoy. Now, it won't surprise you to hear that one of my favorite fiction writers is also John David Mann, my co-author. <laughs> So John wrote a series with Brandon Webb. Brandon was a Navy SEAL, uh, and they wrote a number of how-to books on leadership, uh, courage, just some great books. But then they got together to write a couple of um, novels. Uh, the first one was Steel Fear, which took place in a, a submarine about a, a serial killer in a, a naval submarine. Uh, not a not a submarine, a uh, ship, you know, a naval ship um, called Steel Fear. And then the follow-up to that was Cold Fear, which took place, followed the main protagonist, Finn, uh, who's a disgraced former Navy SEAL who was framed for something and he, you know, what have you. And then Cold Fear, which took place in, in uh, Iceland, of all places. And it was, so the, those two books were great. Uh, there's also a series by a guy who writes, um, Oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of his name right now and it's just not coming to me, but he writes a series of books uh, from uh, about a private eye and his dog and it's written from the viewpoint of the dog. Oh. <laughs> I've read all 13, I think, and uh, I just, every time he comes out with a new one, boom, you know, I'm, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs>